Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Uh, in this one, I'm actually leaking a full video from my uh, $997 program, Impact Income. And in this program, I'm actually talking about how to grow your personal brand and how to sell courses, how to sell coaching, and how to drive leads for a business using a personal brand, right, um, of any kind. And so, uh, however, the two ways that I teach are coaching and course sales. That's sort of the two ways that I go into in depth within the program. But personal branding is a lead gen uh, machine. So you can really sell anything you want. But in this, in this video, I'm actually talking about the process that you should go through when you're starting your personal brand. And sort of if you follow the right steps, really what you can expect growth to look like. And the module is called Achieving Lion Status or the narrow path to achieving lion status. And what lion status is, uh, from my program's perspective is reaching five figures a month. So five figures in revenue a month is lion status and that is really where you start to start having a lot of fun, right? That's really when personal branding becomes like a dream, right? Is, is when you realize like, look, I can drive this amount of revenue. So in this module, I talk about really what that process looks like and actually the machine that drives my personal brand now and helps me monetize my personal brand now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this quick clip from Impact Income. If you're interested in the course, happily check out the link in the description as well. I have more free training coming soon just like this. Be sure to check the description for that as well. See you there. Hey everyone, welcome to the second video of the Laying the Foundations training. Uh, this one is called The Narrow Path to Achieving Lion Status. And uh, the subtitle is Reaching Five Figures a Month in Less Than a Year. And so I just want to lay sort of um, some expectations for this course and also show you sort of what you can expect in terms of results for yourself, right? Because, or at least show you a timeline if you follow what I give you, what you can begin to expect, right? So this is some powerful, powerful stuff. And uh, I highly suggest that you pay attention because there's really, there's a lot to learn here uh, in terms of how a personal brand is laid out, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So there's just a lot in here and I've packed this tiny little module with a lot of information. So I'll be going as fast as I can, uh, but still maintaining, um, still maintaining value. So in this module, Beginning our long journey down the golden bricked path and where it takes us as long as we follow it and trust its guidance. And so what I mean by the golden bricked path. So this has been laid out before you, right? Everything that I'll teach you, if applied, works. So you really don't have to reinvent the wheel here. You don't have to do anything new. Once you understand the rules, you can begin to break them. But moving into this course, just follow my lead and do as I say. I promise you it will work because it's coming from my personal experience and the experience that has been passed down to me from some of the people that I've learned from in this specific business model, personal branding. So when I say beginning a long journey down the golden bricked path, and where it will take us as long as we follow and trust its guidance. What I mean by trust and its guidance is it's this path has been laid out. So as long as we trust that it has been laid out and we follow it, then we'll do great. Next is unveiling the machine, outlining or sorry, outlining the secret weapons of a profitable personal brand and beginning the process of designing one for ourselves. So unveiling the machine. A personal brand is is a machine it is a system and like any system it has inputs a process and outputs so I'm gonna show you how to perfect the inputs and the process in this course uh, and so this is going to be the beginning of that process for me the process of showing you the inputs and the process so when I say unveiling the machine I want to explain to you what the process is. I want to explain to you what you need to do in order to create this. So when I say outlining the secret weapons of a profitable personal brand, essentially what I mean there is, look, there are things that the big dogs in this space understand that really aren't talked about and aren't passed down. 
And I know that's a bit of a buzzword, right? Secrets, but really it's true. There are things that just are not talked about. And I want to begin the process of designing a personal brand for you. I want to begin the process of helping you begin to design your own personal brand. And in order to do so, I want to help you understand the things that these big people use, right? Then lastly is showing you the pitfalls. So showing you what to avoid, and then as well, creating a new path out so that you can avoid the pitfalls. So this is going to be a very powerful module. And side note, there is some noise going on outside out of the rental home, so I apologize uh, for any loud interruptions. I'll just work right through them. So moving forward. Ready? Let's go. So the two golden questions. This is important stuff. Is what am I selling? And how am I selling it? So with a personal brand, it's easy to sell. And I'm going to explain why and how in this course. So I pulled this quick video from a conference that I spoke at. I'd like you to listen to it real quick. Okay, for another note, yeah. I want to give you guys more stuff to take home here. So two golden questions. This is so good, man. What am I selling? How am I selling? That's it. Don't overcomplicate it. Don't worry about your logo. Don't worry about having a nice website. Don't worry about looking cool. Just, what am I selling? How am I selling? That's it. And if you just focus, if, if every single action that you work on within your business, focus on what am I selling? How am I selling? You're going to thrive. Because a lot of people will focus on so such minute things. Like I've worked with so many people, they're like, my website is beautiful. I'm wearing this pretty dress in this photo. I you can't help but not look at me. Like I was wedding photographers or whatever, you know? And it's like, it's like, Dude, it's because you haven't perfected, like, you don't even know what you're selling. <laughs> they don't even know, you, you don't even know how you're selling it. It's like, you focus on such random things, you know? What are you selling? How are you selling? So everything else is noise. Literally everything else is noise. What are you selling? How are you selling? Everything else is noise as an entrepreneur. So that's some powerful stuff. And of course, I'm biased because it's me, but... <laughs> Reality is, focusing on those two things, what am I selling, how am I selling it, is incredibly powerful. So you might be wondering, okay Trey, why are you bringing this up in a personal branding course? Well, let's talk about it. So why I bring this up? So a personal brand is an incredible way to, inter or sorry, to indoctrinate masses of people into a belief in a product or a service. Logan Paul. <laughs> Logan Paul is a clothing salesman. His brand drives sales. So if we understand this, if we understand this mindset of, of viewing personal brands, then we can pretty much completely change the way that we run our own. Our personal brand is not here to make us famous. It's not here to inflate our ego. It's here to act as a sales funnel. It's here to act as a machine for conversions. I want people to look at me and realize that I have something to offer that can help them. Right? I want them to see, wow, this kid knows what he's talking about. I see that he's driven results with other people. I'd like to hire him. Where do I go? Right? With Logan Paul, for example, you see kids wearing his merch. So that merch is social proof and it spreads. And he's a very viral personality. So a personal brand is an incredible way to indoctrinate masses of people into a belief in a product or service. Ultimately, Logan Paul is converting masses of children into believing in a clothing line. That's what he's doing. And, you know, you might think, well, he's a uh, makes music and all these other things. Yes, sure, whatever. But he makes the most money from his apparel as far as I'm concerned. So the question of how am I selling it is answered easily through our brand and proven conversion funnels for our services or products. By the way, if you don't know who Logan Paul is, that's okay. Frankly, it doesn't matter. You can look him up if you like. He's a uh, popular personality online, especially for younger children. And he sells apparel. So how am I selling it is answered easily through our brand and proven conversion funnels for our services or products, which I'll help you build in this course, which I'll help you build. So you're going to understand whenever I say conversion funnel, you're going to eventually really understand what I mean by that. A conversion funnel is something we will set up later for our services or products. So then as well, quote, what am I selling is easy too, because what you're selling, as long as you follow the uh, information in this course is information products and specific niche services for our audience. So information products can be things like courses, masterminds, etc. Right? Information products could be even books. So anything essentially that is the selling of information. Right? Something 
that has information within it that is on the user to utilize and take home and apply, right? And it's an incredible business model. And so I wanna help other people do it. And so when you build your personal brand, by the way, this course focuses on information products. However, you could really sell anything you want to an audience of people, as long as it fits their needs, right? So you can sell anything you want as long as it keeps the client in mind or the customer base in mind. But in this course, I'm teaching you information products and specific niche services for your audience. So a personal brand is the ultimate resonator with the market if executed right. So when asked or when you ask, what am I selling and how am I selling it? Those questions are both answered very easily. By the end of this course, I want you to be able to answer both of those questions incredibly easily. So here's what most personal brands are like. They're dishonest, untrustworthy, and quote, scammy, right? So they just have bad rapport. They just don't resonate with anybody on any level. So at the end of the day, they themselves don't really believe in what they're selling. They're using cheap psychology tricks to get you to buy, and it works, so they milk the market for all the pennies they can get. These are the types of people that typically spend $99 in order to make 100 and then they take that $1 and... <laughs> I guess they think that's a good profit margin, right? So these are the types of people we want to avoid, and the best way to identify them, and this is the last point on the slide, is by talking with their students and asking them their experience. So I, right now, run an agency that services personal brands. That is one of my income streams. That is one of the ways that I monetize my personal brand. I teach people personal branding online, and I help people monetize their personal brands in my agency and courses like this one, and coaching. And so if you talk to my students, 99.9% .9 of them are happy. As well, when I talk to people who I want to run their personal brands for, people who are selling information products, right? What I do is I'll actually get on the phone with their students and interview their students and ask, hey, what's your experience with this guy? Do you like him? Do you not like him? What are the pros and cons? And I don't allow the information product seller to tell me which students to call. I say, give me a list of all of your students, and I'm going to call one. <laughs> and it's, it is awesome getting data like that. And then I know exactly who I should work with and who I shouldn't. It's wonderful. It's a great way to go. So the easiest way to identify these people is by talking with their students and asking them their experience. And this is what most personal brands are like, dishonest, untrust, untrustworthy, and scammy. And so what we can learn from them is really what we're going to be like. We just want to be the opposite of that, right? So we want to put our audience, our customers, at the front of every decision, right? So we want to sort of keep their needs at the front of our thought process, make sure that every need that they have is something that we meet effectively and efficiently. And so we're willing to take the heat in order to better the lives of our customers and make sure that their needs are met. So really, we're, we're playing the long game here, right? This course is a long game course. This is a course that will make you a whole lot of money 10 years from now. Because I want to teach you not only how to work in the current market with the environment that it's in, you know, paid ads, softwares, and different content output, and you know, what the market expects currently, but also some of the principles that I'll be teaching you will help you down the line, right? And this is one of them, which is putting your customers at the front of every single decision. And as you begin to hire a team, same thing, right? As you hire a team for content output or maybe hire a team for, or maybe you say you run an agency or any business, right? Every single team member must have the customer at the forefront of every decision that they make. Otherwise, the organism, which is your company or your team, begins to lose traction. And so in our own heads, it's the same way. The customer is at the front of every decision. Otherwise, we're screwed because it's very easy to focus on profits and profits alone and forget what is being caused in return for the profit? Never, ever trade reputation for profit. Ever. I've learned this the hard way. So, next is being honest, open, and unrelenting with our message so that we can appeal to those who love us and not be worried about those who don't. So, you know, we're going to have a message. We're going to have something that we stand for. For me, I'm against the education system as it is now. And I voice that quite a bit in my content and with my students, et cetera, et cetera. I don't like the education system. I think it sucks. I think it's a, in a horrible condition, and I don't think it's results-driven. I think it's screwing kids over. 
think it's indoctrinating them into beliefs that just are outdated and don't work. So that's my enemy, and my friend is entrepreneurship. And I'm going to help you do this for yourself. So I want you to have this message, being open and unrelenting with your message so that we can appeal to those who love us and not worry about those who don't. So we're going to have a message. We're not just going to have something to sell. We're going to have a message as well, which is just absolutely important. Then lastly, we're going to be selling services and products that we actually believe in. What a concept. And that we know will help the marketplace. So we're going to put the customer at the front of every thought, once again. So this is what we're going to be like. This is us. This is me. This is you. This is how we're going to do this. We're going to do it the right way. So now we're moving into some pretty neat stuff. This is the machine unveiled. So from a very high level view, I want to talk about the machine and how it works. Right? And so you already saw the sales bubble training as the first video. And I sort of made that the first video because I feel like it's a good way to outline the course. I love the sales bubble. It keeps a visual in the head. Um, and this is sort of the machine unveiled from a bit of a different perspective and one that is a bit more relevant specifically to the content that I'll be going through in the program. So, just like any system, you must keep it healthy. So, for example, we have the human body. The human body is a system. It needs some stuff. It needs movement to prevent decay or loss of proper bone structure and, you know, keeping muscles alive. So we have proper nutrients through organic food sources, an abundance of water. We have sunlight to balance hormones and oxygen. So, you know, this is just a handful of things that the body needs. Of course, there are plenty of other things that the body needs, but you get the picture. It needs some things. It has some things that need to be inputted into it. So we have some inputs, which are what we talked about above. Good food, movement, quality, environment, water, oxygen, blah, 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 right, are inputs. And the process is the body's natural processes and systems to either digest the food that we've given it or process the oxygen intake, etc. And then you have your free will and decision making, which is your mentality, which affects your life in a massive way, which I'm sure you've realized from the mindset section. Then we have outputs, which is quality, balanced health, allowing for a happy life and a good mood. So we have inputs, out, or sorry, inputs, processes, and outputs. So the business model is the exact same way. Inputs, processes, and outputs. Inputs, processes, outputs. So the inputs are your time put into getting traffic from f paid or free sources, as well your time in developing your services, developing your products, etc. The process is indoctrinating traffic via content and bringing them micro value at scale through pieces of content right helping them solving their problems bringing them enlightenment and whatever it is that they're struggling with right next is winning people over to your way of thinking and helping them understand the value you can bring so building authority with them through solving their problems consistently and building a reputation with people right people might come in to your sales bubble and take six months to finally convert into a sale you never know right so just imagine this process like the second you start putting out content and beginning to build an audience you have a million dollar check unwritten in your name right? It's just sitting there waiting to be cashed. That's really the reality of it because traffic doesn't convert immediately and we'll get onto that later. Next is proven sales processes and funnels for converting charged traffic into sales. So again, sales processes, you know, conversion funnels, etc. That stuff we'll talk about later. We'll build those. Those are actual pages and softwares that we're going to use and paid ads that we're going to run, right? To actually convert people into sales properly so that we can actually begin to see some real results with our traffic input. Then the outputs are money in your pocket and a growth of your following online. So we have inputs, processes, and outputs. And this helps me define my role as your teacher. My role is to help you begin to understand the inputs and processes of this business model so that you can begin to have predictable outputs. So the inputs, are, again, are content, traffic, indoctrination, etc. The processes are product services, converting leads, right and I want to give you a clear-cut path moving forward so that you don't get lost in the weeds <clears throat> so that's my role as your teacher to help you understand the inputs and processes and then it's up to you to develop those outputs based on the inputs and processes that I've given you so if done right this process feeds itself and this is why it's such a neat business model of course any business is like this but the way that this feeds itself is just exponential and it's incredible 
So once we understand proper paid marketing, we can begin to pour the money we make back into the ads that we know will continue to grow our audience and convert them into sales. So we've inputs, which is our time, right? Developing courses, services, creating content, building our audience, right? Processes and then outputs. And the outputs is a part of the output is money, right? So just a lot of that money is can or will or whatever can go back into the business, back into the inputs, back into growing our audience once again so that that audience can hit our process that converts them into sales and then we have more outputs, we have more money. We take another piece of that money, put it back in, right? Say we take a third of all of our profits and put it back into the front and we just build this thing. And as long as we're maintaining our processes, then we have money out the other end of this freaking process. It's so cool. I love, I love talking like this. It's a very neat way of looking at this process, at this business. So once you've mastered this process, it becomes like a positive feedback loop. And we've talked about this in the mindset training, what a feedback loop is and how it affects business. If you understand a feedback loop, then you understand how things exponentially grow or exponentially shrink. It's important to understand. So imagine if your inputs, your time, your courses, your services, and your processes, your conversion funnels, etc., aren't that great then your outputs aren't that great and you don't have a whole lot to pour back in your business. So you keep that up and you end up broke. You end up with no money in the bank because you didn't put your customer first and you didn't actually put in the work. However, if you put the customer first and you put in the work with your inputs and your processes, then the outputs see the exact same. They mirror, your inputs mirror your outputs, right? We've talked about this in the mindset training. As above, so below. So. What you put into your business is what you're going to get out of it. It's never going to be any more or any less. And it's going to either exponentially grow or exponentially shrink based on your inputs. And I'm going to show you the pitfalls to avoid so that you don't exponentially shrink your business like I've done to mine many times. So the process of scaling. So this is what I'm going to be doing in this course for you, essentially. I'm going to be showing you real quick in this module with a couple slides really what the timeline looks like here, really what the process looks like in achieving results with this program. So first, beginning the process of building your brand is something that can be viewed as a science. It's a path paved far ahead of you and attempting to do it on your own might be a bad call if you're just beginning the process. So this is why I encourage you to stick through this whole program and watch every single video in full take notes, and maybe even go back through it once again because you're going to learn a lot. That's just the nature of humans, you know, but what you have to go through something once or twice. Most, most books, movies, etc., we tend to catch things that matter a lot the second time around. So you absolutely have to pay attention and listen because a lot of the things that I'll be teaching you, they're not just theory. They work, and everything I'm going to teach you in this course is things that I've proven out either for myself or for my clients, right? And so I encourage you to listen and listen in. So just like any art form, you must first know the rules and regulations before you can begin to break them and build your own masterpiece. In this course, my goal is to help you begin to understand the foundational truths that power some of the largest personal brands and begin to help you build your own. This doesn't require reinventing the wheel. So like I said, just like any art form, you first must know the rules. This course is the rules. Right? These are the things that work. These are the regulations that work. These are the standards that will help you drive results. This works. It works. And it works really well as long as you do it right. right? So next is scaling a brand is a slow and steady process. Remember when we talked about systems in the mindset training. All systems grow with consistent, unrelenting input. Shock the system and you'll spend years recovering. Don't be consistent with input and you'll waste your time. So we must understand this. It's a slow, steady, compounding growth over a long period of time. It is not a quick thing. It is a very slow thing, actually, and it takes a lot of time. So here's sort of the timeline. Month 1, month 3, month 6, month 9, and month 12 up top. M1, M3, M6, M9, M12. Right? So, M1. First roars into the void. Month 3, beginning to hear an echo. Month six, strengthening your voice and resonating your tone, right? Month nine, learning to tame the void and bending it to your will. Month 12, beginning of a journey to lion status. So these are sort of just neat titles that I gave these. This is a more refined version of what that looks like. 
right? So niche discovery and study in month one. So month one, you're going to be doing a lot of figuring out your niche. Who do I appeal to? Why do I appeal to them? How do I help them, right? What are their problems? What niches am I actually good at? You know, what kind of content can I put out, right? What things can I teach? What problems can I solve, etc.? You know, who in my market is doing well and what are they doing that I'm not doing that I should be doing, right? That's niche discovery and study. It's studying the audience within your niche and as well, it's studying what you should be doing, what you shouldn't be doing, et cetera, et cetera. And this fuels content, which is the other step of month one, beginning traction with content, right? So we have beginning traction with content and niche discovery and study. So with content output, right, I'm going to be teaching you how to structure your content how to create content, how I create content, the gear that I use, the editing software that I use, um, et cetera, et cetera, right? As well, we'll be using YouTube for this. So I'll be teaching you how to use the YouTube platform. I'll be teaching you how to rank for SEO, rank for keywords on YouTube. So when somebody searches for a problem, you're the first result, which is just an awesome way to go, especially if you have a very niche problem, right? Like maybe an issue with your car, or maybe you're in the beauty niche, in, or maybe in the fashion niche, and there's a specific issue that a lot of people face, right? You can solve it in a video, or maybe you can build traction and build authority with a video that brings you a lot of attention, whatever, right? So it's beginning to build traction with content. You've got month three, which is monetization with coaching. So this is absolutely huge. I'm gonna teach you how to properly structure coaching so that you can take on anywhere from 10 to 15 students a month, paying you quite a bit of money. So reality is, you know, you don't need to have that big of a channel and coaching is going to make you a lot of money. It may even make you more money than courses will at first. And that's just the reality of it, right? If you structure coaching properly, a single coaching student will pay you $1,200, right? Whereas coaching or whereas courses with a small audience, you maybe sell one or two courses a month. The audience, the size that you'll get it at month three, you might not sell that many unless you're doing something insane. But I'll teach you how to monetize with coaching with proper sales funnels and with proper on-take strategies. So like how to actually get on the phone, what to say when you're first on the phone with a potential coach, coaching client, and how to siphon through bad coaching clients and only get the ones that you really want to work with, which is just an awesome way to do it. And then as well, how to actually structure the software and the scheduling software and the video, um, you know, video call software, everything like that. I'm going to show you everything. Uh, and then as well, I'm going to show you how to run some paid promotions. So you'll have an existing audience by this point, and I'm just going to show you how to run some ads to them so that you can sell more stuff without mentioning it in your content, which is what, again, I talked about in the sales bubble principle video, right? Next is beginning to key in your message. So beginning to actually resonate a message with a niche, right? And so actually beginning to have a message that people subscribe to and love and that people want to hear more of, Right? so that people keep coming back to your videos. So your message is not just, you know, the things you believe in, like for me it's the education system or whatnot, right? Your message is also, you know, your niche's problems and how you solve them. So when I say beginning to key in your message, what I mean is you're beginning to understand your niche and what they need from you. So we move on to uh, month six. And at this point, you should probably have your in first information product released. And you don't have to make it perfect, you just have to get it out there, right? Because an information product is a really, really easy sell. It's a really easy sell because really, you know, especially if you structure it right, the information in an information product is far more valuable than the money that people are paying for it. And as long as you can show that it's driving results for people, then that is scalable like crazy. And then we're gonna begin to key in the systems for sales on the back end, right? So with the info product, I'll teach you how to structure the product, how to actually put your thoughts into a product, how to use the teachable platform to develop a product or whatever platform you want, what to put into a product, right? and how to you know make sure that it fits the needs of your niche. And then as well, beginning to key in systems for sales on the back end, right? So actually beginning to build out a webinar funnel and paid traffic to that webinar funnel, that conversion funnel is what we'll call it, right? We're gonna call it that our conversion funnel. So we'll send people to that webinar or send people to our other conversion funnels that generate sales for this information product on autopilot and also for our coaching, right? Which is just, really cool and I'm gonna teach you how to do that so it literally just works like a machine in the back end so once you start putting out YouTube videos you just put out a YouTube video and then everything else works for you like how cool is that the next discovering your niches quote pressure points 
So you're going to begin to attract a certain type of person at this point, and by this time, even if you only have a couple thousand subscribers, or maybe just a couple hundred even, you'll know what they want to hear, right? And you'll know what they need from you. So you're going to begin to discover your niche's pressure points, is what I'll call them in this course. And that is things that get your niche to, like, when they hear it, they squirm. Like, it resonates in their bones. Like, when you say these things, they just love it. They eat it up, and they want more of it from you. And then you structure that out so that you can figure out more creative ways to say that thing or, you know, bring that message to your niche. And then you can begin to grow a pretty massive audience pretty quickly. <clears throat> Next is hiring people in for a content output. This is month nine. So I'll teach you, and you could even do this in month one, month three, month six, you know, if you have the revenue, but I'm assuming that you're starting with very little upfront. If not, then you can do a lot of this upfront, but I'm just giving you the timeline that I believe will be generally the case for the students of this course. So in month nine, we have hiring in for content output, right? Uh, so essentially, we're going to hire or help you understand how to hire in videographers, uh, video editors, graphic designers, um, etc., etc., uh, so that you can actually, you know, scale your content output, right? Which is just going to be really cool, and it's just going to be a really neat way to sort of begin to seize control of your business. Instead of working in your business, you work on it, right? You hire people, put them in place, so that you're not doing the technical work; you're doing the idea work. You're doing the creative growth work and that's really where you want to be and so then as well we're going to put some systems in place that are ready to meet traffic right so what i mean by this again is going back to the conversion funnel right things like that the systems will be in place by this time so in month six we're beginning to key them in we're beginning to build them they're beginning to make sense and work by month nine we have them in place and they just work and so we just maintain them or change them based on our, niche, our niche's new needs or Maybe we have a new message or a new product or something, and so we just change them. But they're in place, and they work, and they're ready to meet traffic. And then as well, we're beginning to have a core following of, you know, anywhere from 150 people to 1,000 people or whatever. When I say a core following, I mean, like, they're like a cult following. Like, they just love everything you do, right? And as long as they're consistent with your message and with your niche, then you can convert these people into sales consistently. So it's a really, really neat thing to get to do, right? As you begin to have this core following, it's like you have, it really is like you have financial freedom completely. Because 150 people, just 150 people that will buy anything you sell that is like underneath $1,000, you could sell you could sell a $500 product that helps them solve a certain specific problem and they'll all buy it and then that's a full-time income for a year for a lot of people, right? Like that's... That's where you're going to be if you follow this process, right? And if you actually solve a legitimate problem for people. And month 12 is paying for more leads and traffic. So we're going to actually learn how to scale this thing from the top, beginning to fuel the machine from the top. And so once we have the machine set up, which we do really from month 1 to month 9, once we have content in place, we have our market resonating with our message, and we have a, a product or service or something that fits that need in our market, then all we gotta do really is pay for more traffic at the top because that traffic's gonna convert as long as we know that the traffic is in need of whatever it is that we have to offer, right? So the path has been paved for you. There's no need to reinvent the wheel in order to achieve success with this business model. All you have to do is follow the guidance given to you and you'll thrive. So here's some of the pitfalls that you want to avoid with this business model. As I said, I'd talk about on the front, right? First of all, rushing it, hoping to gain traction quickly and therefore being willing to lower your standard for your brand. This is absolutely huge and you must avoid this. Next is not sticking to a niche. You'll never gain traction. And I've done this, I've shifted niches and it is really hard to recover from, right? I've been lucky enough and smart enough to really set up some good systems and be able to convert people well but if I had more people, that'd be awesome. By flipping niches, you lose a lot of people. It keeps you from gaining traction. So next is being a generalist. So what I mean by this is not solving a specific problem, but just kind of like, you know, oh, well, I am in the fitness niche in general, or I am in the entrepreneurship in general, and I'll just sort of talk about entrepreneurship stuff. No, don't do that. Don't do that, dude. You got to be a specific, per like you have to solve a specific need and be a specific voice for that niche 
you cannot be a generalist. If you are a generalist, you will waste so much time, you will waste so much money, and you won't make anywhere near as much money as a specific person is or as a niched down person is. And I'm going to teach you how to find that niche. It's one of the biggest, hardest parts in getting started is finding your niche. Right, so I'll teach you how to do that. I'll teach you how to avoid being a generalist. Next is lacking persistence. So again, coming back to the systems example, right? We can't shock the system and we can't underfeed the example. Or not example. We can't why did I say example? Where'd that come from? We can't overfeed the system and we can't underfeed the system. If we shock it, we ruin it. If we don't give it enough food, it never grows. We have to give a consistent amount of input. And so this is where persistence comes in. We have to have persistence. And lastly is not knowing your niche and actually not knowing your niche's issues and their pitfalls and the things that they run into, right? So right now my niche is personal brands and I'm showing you the pitfalls. I'm showing you the things that people get stuck at. So you have to understand your niche's pitfalls in order to serve them, in order to help them. So this is why most personal brands don't work. They're not enough of an authority in their niche so they must study it and understand the niche thoroughly they don't know the niche's issues they don't know its problems they don't understand how to find the niche's problems they don't know where to start with making content they don't know what problems to solve in their content etc right this is where you study the people who are doing well in your niche and do research on your niche and ask a good questions go to facebook groups right go to forums ask your niche questions get to know them understand them be able to you know, walk a mile in their shoes, per se. Next is they don't have the right systems in place to help them scale properly. So ones that help them meet traffic with indoctrination and an offer, and ones that help them get more traffic. So they don't have the right systems in place to help them scale. And lastly, they're simply not putting in the work. So they're literally just not putting in the work. So they know all this, and this has been me many, many times. I know it, I get it, it makes sense, but I'm just not putting in the work. And I am going to completely destroy that in you. Hopefully, I have already in the mindset section. And if I haven't, then let me know. I've failed my job. So I am incredibly excited to begin this journey with you. Um, this course will be an incredible life changer for many, many people. Um, honestly, I cannot wait to get this thing out there. Um, and I can't wait to hear what you think. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the second video in the Laying the Foundations section, and I'll see you in the next one.